MSME Payment Recovery Important things to know about MSME Payment Recovery 1. Establishment of MSE Facilitation Councils The state governments are mandated to establish Micro and Small Enterprise Facilitation Councils MSEFC, in each district to resolve disputes related to delayed payments. These councils work to ensure timely settlements. 2. Time-bound resolution. The Act sets a strict time frame for resolving payment-related disputes through the MSEFC, ensuring speedy resolution for MSMEs. The buyer is required to settle the claim within 90 days of the SMEFC Council's notice issue date. 3. Supplier's entitlement to initiate legal action. In the event that a supplier does not receive a payment within 45 days of providing goods or services, they possess the right to file a debt recovery case at MSEFC against any type of buyer, which may include MSME companies, publicly listed companies, government departments, or foreign buyers. 4. Right to interest. MSMEs have the right to claim interest on payments made beyond the agreed-upon time frame, providing them with a financial safeguard against late payments. In situations where a buyer fails to settle their dues for goods or services within 45 days of accepting them, the buyer is obligated to pay compound interest on the outstanding amount. The rate of interest is set at three times the bank rate notified by the Reserve Bank of India RBI, compounded on a monthly basis until the payment to the supplier is made. 5. Mandatory Declaration of Outstanding Payments Buyers are required to declare any outstanding payments to MSME suppliers in their annual accounts, increasing transparency and accountability. 6. Disallowed Interest Deduction Interest paid or payable by the buyer is disallowed for income tax purposes, incentivizing buyers to make timely payments. 7. Appeal Process The Act outlines an appeal process but mandates that no appeal against the decision of the Facilitation Council can be entertained by any court without the deposit of 75% of the decreed amount payable by the buyer. 8. Legal Proceedings Locally Suppliers can initiate cases within the jurisdiction of their respective MSEFCs, regardless of whether the dispute resolution terms specified in the purchase order or work order dictate proceedings in the buyer's jurisdiction. 9. Multilingual Proceedings Proceedings can be conducted in local languages, with English for a broader understanding by higher courts. 10. Old Dispute Regarding older cases, the Facilitation Council does not consider delayed payment dispute cases where the outstanding payments from buyers have been pending for more than three years. 11. No external manipulation The respondent cannot use any undue influence in the dispute resolution process. The process is fair, and even the Ministry of MSME cannot intervene. These features collectively serve to protect the interests of MSMEs, ensuring they receive timely payments and have legal recourse in case of payment-related disputes. To know more about MSME Payment Recovery, visit LegalBabu.com.